So when I woke up this morning, I did what I always do. I checked to see if Dak Prescott had actually signed a new contract in the middle of the night. You know, the same way PG-13 had done a few months back with the Philadelphia 76ers. But as it turns out, no new contract for Dak Prescott yet. Welcome to the Underrated Pod. On today's pod, we are going to give you the top five quarterbacks who are absolutely under the most pressure in the National Football League this year. New to the channel, where have you been, North America? One million plus views. Please subscribe and, of course, like this video. All right, so we've got our top five list. Uh, But before that, I thought, you know, if you were to, like, call me up one day and say, hey, what's the most shocking thing you've seen today, Dabah? And my answer for today would be this video I'm playing for you right now. That's right, North America. That is Katy Perry actually jumping out of a helicopter with her husband into the ocean. That is definitely something I thought I would never see. All right, we're putting up our top five QBs uh, uh, who are under the most pressure entering the upcoming National Football League season. There is the list for you. I'm not going to tease you with anything. I'm just going to simply put the list up and we're going to cover a couple pieces for each person on the list. Now you'll see two names down at the bottom. Those are honorable mentions. Uh, Look, Hertz and his head coach, it's just going to be so entertaining to watch this year. If Philadelphia gets off to a bad start, you can expect Nick Sirianni to be gone. Uh, Hertz, on the other hand, is under a tremendous amount of pressure. You know, those Philadelphia fans are going to be difficult on Hertz. He will have to perform at a significantly higher level this season than he did last year. Now, look, C.J. Stroud honorable mention just simply because he had such a great rookie season if you remember back to this time last year how many of us uh, would even have considered picking the houston texans anywhere above dead last the answer to that question is none of us look the houston texans went out and got Stephon diggs who during preseason was already having a meltdown Look, not only does C.J. Stroud have to deal with the malcontent that is Stephon Diggs, he's also going to have to deal with defenses actually honing in on what their offense is trying to do. The Texans are definitely under a lot of pressure to repeat what they did last year and improve on it. Now, in terms of my top five, I've got Dak Prescott. Look, he plays for America's team. I personally have had a chance to spend a little bit of time with Dak uh, and the Joneses as well. And I can tell you that there is a tremendous amount of pressure on Dak Prescott to, at the very least, repeat a 12-5 and season. Now, he's got a lame duck head coach and one Mike McCarthy who is Super Bowl or bust in terms of whether or not he will be back next season. As for Dak Prescott, yes, that contract hasn't got done yet. I would be absolutely shocked if the season started and Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb did not both have new deals done. It is North America, just how Stephen Jones and Jerry Jones negotiate. You might not like it, but that is how they do business. Now, the pressure for Dak is certainly going to be able to do something that he didn't do last year during the playoffs, which is not act like fool's gold. They are under a tremendous amount of pressure, as always, in Dallas. Dak is certainly going to have to bear the load of it. Look, Aaron Rodgers, all Aaron Rodgers is doing is chasing Brett Favre's legacy, isn't he? He wants to actually do something that Brett Favre wasn't able to do with the New York football Jets and actually lead them on a deep playoff run. Aaron Rodgers most likely is in the last year of his career. Yeah, I mentioned this on a different podcast yesterday, but Aaron Rodgers is in the business of following Brett Favre. 
which means you can expect some sort of financial uh, crisis to hit Aaron Rodgers at some point in the next four or five years. Call it a financial scam if you want. Ultimately, Aaron Rodgers wants to go out on top, at least go out in uh, with a team that's actually in the playoffs. Uh, the Jets have done their job from a general manager perspective. That offensive line is better. He's got additional wide receivers. He's got good running backs. No excuses for Aaron Rodgers. He probably will retire at the end of this upcoming season. So he'll want to go out on top. He'll want to do something that Brett Favre couldn't do with the New York football Jets. A lot of pressure there on Favre as well as that Jets organization. Brock Purdy, look, he's Mr. Irrelevant. And he's proven he can handle the pressure. Now, if Brandon Ayuk, if you will, his blanket is not on this team uh, this season, then things are going to be very difficult. Purdy will be under a tremendous amount of pressure to find another blanket. It's just that there really isn't another blanket like Brandon Ayuk, so he'll be under a lot of pressure. And then, of course, there's all the media pressure. Just, uh, you know, everybody out there saying silly things like, he's just a better version of Jimmy Garoppolo. Like, that's a bad thing to call somebody. Ultimately, Brock Purdy will be successful, I think, this upcoming season, regardless of whether or not Ayuk is there. But if Trent Williams isn't there, then it's a whole different story. Look, the pressure comes with Kyle Shanahan being as good as he is as an offensive coordinator. The pressure is on the San Francisco 49ers to not just make the Super Bowl, but actually win the Super Bowl. Imagine being Mr. Irrelevant and then being in your third year in the National Football League and the pressure, like the only thing that you can do right this year is actually win the Super Bowl. That's where Brock Purdy's at, and of course he wants to get paid. In at number four, Jared Goff. Look, Goff is under a lot of pressure after he signed that big $53 million a year deal. I still can't believe they're giving him $53 million a year, but they are. So Goff is under a tremendous amount of pressure to lead, at the very least, the Detroit Lions back into the uh, NFC Championship game this upcoming season. And then Josh Allen. What quarterback list isn't complete without Josh Allen? Look, Joe Burrow, for God's sakes, made the Super Bowl before Josh Allen. Every year, the expectation on Josh Allen is that he's going to make the Super Bowl. If you will, he's Phil Mickelson to Tiger Woods without any sort of real championships <laughs> underneath his belt. That's where Josh Allen's at. Yes, I know Diggs is gone. Yes, I know he has a third string wide receiver core. Josh Allen is under pressure to do it all. They will still count on him to run the ball a lot. I love watching Josh Allen play. I especially love watching Josh Allen play when he's under pressure. All right, North America, who did I leave off the list? Agree or disagree <laughs> i want to know what your thoughts are hey thanks so much for tuning into the underrated pod tonight uh if you haven't done it yet please go and subscribe and of course like uh this video for the underrated i am dave debaugh wishing you all a tremendous rest of your sports viewing day to the guitar riffs will you go You've been listening to the Underrated Podcast with Dave Dabba. Presented by Underrated.media.